fractured the foot. One of those things that where the fracture was at, what's connected to it, not a whole lot I could do. Took this and you wrap this really tight around the area. Work around nice and well. Hey guys, Dr. Mike here, Oak Brook Medical Group in Oak Brook, Illinois, and I am here with one of our rehab technicians, Stephanie. Um, and I'm gonna kinda walk through some stuff with you guys here, because I just had something happen to me personally. And I've had a lot of patients asking questions about how am I doing this, how am I walking so much better. So, July 4th, I was playing basketball with my five-year-old son, just decided to fracture my foot. You know, just one of those things, half my foot landed on the driveway, half my foot landed in the grass, foot folded in half, and I created an avulsion fracture on the fifth metatarsal base of my foot. So that is the bone that runs right out here. Okay, so, um, fractured the foot, one of those things that where the fracture was at, what's connected to it, not a whole lot I could do. Could have booted it for a little bit, but then you start creating some restriction problems and I could actually walk without a whole lot of pain. So I just kept it moving. We've done some things now. They said it was July 4th. Today is the 21st. And as you can see, I've got no boot on, can use my foot, can walk normal, was able to actually do a Peloton ride. So within just a couple of weeks, they're moving a lot better, healing a lot faster than what I would, ex would have expected to do. Uh, so let's talk about some of the things that we did here. So I'm gonna use Stephanie as an example. I'm gonna show you guys first how I would normally adjust a foot and then show you how we adjusted it nice and lightly using the activator tool. So first things first, always wanna get proper motion into that foot when you, you know, the area that I broke, because I am naturally walking with a little bit of a limp and trying to be careful with it, you can feel things start and tighten up. So the way I would normally adjust a foot, if we're gonna pretend this is a perfect healthy foot, no problems, no sprains, no fractures, starting in that heel, just create a little pull and traction, and everything's really fast with the foot because you wanna get things to move and set pretty quickly. So that would be normal if we had my scenario, right, where we had a fracture in there. Like I said, the fracture of my foot was running right along the outside right here, okay? So obviously, we're not gonna adjust that area. We always wanna stay away from any type of fracture like that, but we've got a lot of joints in the ankle that we need to get moving. So what I would do is just use this guy, just called the activator tool clicks. We're just going to set that joint up and we would just work around nice and light the other areas of that foot just to keep things moving. So they're nice and easy and we could obviously, in my scenario where that fracture was, we were able to adjust the toes, doing some light pulling, traction, things like that, just to keep that motion as much as we can in there because we don't want to create any scar tissue, let anything build up or really start to restrict that motion because we want this to heal. So come on up there, Miss Stephanie, perfect. So that was nice and easy, light how we could adjust the foot. The other thing I did is we actually worked with Jose, our massage therapist here in the office, and he essentially worked on me multiple days a week. We were basically working every Monday, Wednesday, Friday on the foot, doing different things to help promote the healing in it. So we first started out with just some light massage. Um, if you guys could have seen my foot, I, kind of, I said it looked like a Fred Flintstone foot. It was just really big, puffy, swollen, lots of bruising. So that first day that I saw him, he worked on light massage, flushing out all that blood flow, getting things moving, and then we used KT tape and did, which is, I just call a lattice or a waffle tape, right? So you get strands of the tape going that way, strands of the tape going this way, and it almost looks like a checker pattern going across the foot, and you put that right over all the bruising and all the swelling. So the purpose of that is, Jose gets that blood flow moving, gets things flushing out, and then we put that tape on. It helps lift up the skin and the fascia of that area to help promote the healing even further as I'm walking and going throughout the day. So that was huge. That was probably one of the things that helped the most because the swelling and the bruising went from terrible, dark purple, black looking to within three days, it was almost gone. I mean, it was pretty incredible how quickly that went away. So after that, one of the last things we did was what's called flossing. So if you've ever seen one of these bands before, it's just a thick elastic band. So once I felt like it was healed a little bit, the swelling had gone down, one of the last things to really do to flush this out is we took this and you wrap this really tight around the area and just worked basically up from here, 
coming up this way creates restriction in there, restricts that blood flow. And then what happens is I was taking my ankle through proper ranges of motion, moving it as much as I can, because then that helps force the blood in there with the constrictions. And then Jose would take the floss off very quickly and it would just get a big blood rush down there. Um, it was one of those things I had never done it before, thought that it was going to hurt. It actually felt great. And as soon as we were done with it, I stood up, started walking around, and I could instantly start walking more normal just from using that flossing. So it was pretty incredible getting to use that. Um, outside of that, it was more so my own time, right? All the things we do on the rehab floor, taking the ankle through ranges of motion, just trying to keep those planes moving. I did what's called the ABCs with my toes, keeping it moving as much as I can while keeping some compression on it, right? So within three weeks, I'm able to walk normal, do things, work out again, just basically the same way I could before I broke it. Whereas if I would have booted it, stopped moving it, let it get restricted, I would have built up scar tissue and all those things, right? Every fracture is different. You got to be careful with that. But it was pretty cool. And patients have been pretty excited to see how fast that healed. They're always surprised when they walk in and say, hey, you're walking normal again. You know, so it's one of those things that we can do here in the office. So if you know anybody who has any foot, ankle things going on, has any questions about it, feel free. Give us a call at the number below. If you're watching on YouTube, hit that notification bell, like, follow the page, Facebook, Instagram, like and follow, and we'll catch you guys in the next video.